as our children get and the opportunities for more independence, um, you want to foster that, but you also have to be there to help support them to know what's going on. It's too easy once they hit middle school and high school to um, to not know what's going on. Uh, they don't necessarily share as much information as readily, and so I think that to continue to be engaged, it continues to communicate that you value the education and that you that that's their job. They have a job to go to school and to learn, and it's important that they take it seriously and that you know what's happening. And sometimes there is a perception amongst parents that they should back away from their kids, particularly because kids are telling them to because of the social aspects by the time they get to high school, where I think that parents are needed more when the kids are in high school because when they're in elementary and middle school, they're pretty much listening to their parents and doing the right thing. It's when they get to high school when they're exposed to a lot more that parents really need to be involved um, uh, to me heavily through their high school career. With more after school activities for students in middle and high school, parents may find new opportunities to get involved. Through volunteering in school, whether you're on the PTA or the various bo booster clubs that we have available, a lot of our parents will um, volunteer in the areas that their kids are involved, which is great. Um, just be involved. One great thing about extracurricular, uh, whether it be sports or debate team or anything like that, it allows parents to meet other parents too. And we know it takes a village to raise children. So when we know Sally's mom and you know who your friend's parents are, it really helps you um, support your child and all the children. Many of the opportunities to get involved in middle and high school are the same as in elementary school. Get involved with um, parent committees, um, any volunteer opportunities that they are, there are at that school. Um, also, there's an opportunity to work, still work with your child at home, uh, to check homework. Be sure to stay involved in your child's education as they reach their teenage years. Those teenagers go through a lot of phases and a lot of changes that their parents don't understand, but the parent still has to give them the message. I love you, I support you, I'm here for you, I'm going to stay engaged and involved in your school. I'm going to stay engaged and involved in who your friends are because I care about you. So parents need to stick with it. Don't abandon your child just because they're older and it seems like they don't need you, they really, really need you. They're just always there to talk to me if I need some advice because a lot of the decision making, you know, some of the stuff I do need advice on and I don't feel comfortable fully making some of the decisions that I do. So, I mean, they're always there. I appreciate that. My parents never came to school, um, and there are a lot of reasons for that. Language barriers, they had work, they had transportation issues, some fears about how much they could contribute. When I was in seventh grade, I, there was a situation where I got in big enough trouble that my mom had to come into the school. That moment was a, a big turning point in our relationship. And so she came in and um, she met with the counselor. The counselor greeted her, walked her around the building to show her what school was like, um, showed her my name on the honor roll, and talked with her about um, my life at school. And although there were some cultural differences, um, they had a common interest. And um, my mom shared that um, she walked away with a better understanding of who I was. You know, we talk now about how that was kind of a change the trajectory of our relationship. And I, you know, I, for me, it's as an educator, you know, it's just a vivid reminder of how working together uh, for what, whatever brings people together, you know, school and home together, for whatever reason, working together um, could really end up benefiting the child, not just in that moment, but um, beyond as well. It's very important for the kids to know that the parents, you know, coming to school are involved with conferences, coming to volunteer. You can see in shows in grades, shows in attendance in school. When you send your kids to high school, um, they probably have seven teachers. You want to get to know those seven teachers because in some part of the day those teachers are going to have influence over your kids. And so why not build a partnership so that that influence is the same kind of influence you want to have at home and at school. And you can do that by getting to know your teachers. It's very important for everyone to know how that system works and how important the parents are to Fairfax County Public School System.